Before I start this video, I want to give a huge shout out to AliasBot for teaching me pretty much everything I know. Thank you. Tired of your wands looking like this and want them to look like this? We'll find out in this video. Welcome back everyone to Noida 101. In this episode we will learn how to fix the stats on your wands and uh, make them get the full benefit from modifiers and everything that you place on to it. So without further ado, our first wand is a uh, cast delay of 0.12 and a recharge of 0.33. So with recharge, it fixes a uh, cast delay from 0.17 and a recharge of 0.33. The reason I put it at 0.12 is uh, to compensate for the spark bolt so that it'll fire something like this. And so with a chart that I've made, which I will include in the uh, description, you can find out what spells and modifiers will help your wands and make them into something extraordinary. So the, the only... Um, reason I really have this wand is just to display that uh, a lot of modifiers and spells do have hidden benefits. Like, obviously this says reduced recharge time, but that could mean anything. So, uh, definitely, definitely good to uh, reference that chart and find out what fixes what. And then for our second wand, we have a cast delay of 0.53 and a recharge time of 0.17. So with this one, this is just demonstrating what spell pairing is. So right now, this is a pair. So the Luminous with Timer has a weird, weird like self-benefiting pairing like uh, thing going on. So this automatically fixes the stats on this wand and creates something like this, but it is mana heavy. So even with a recharge of 1337 it is still losing mana so we would throw an increased mana on but as you can see it increases cast delay so if we were to throw it here it's not machine gunning it's shooting pretty fast but we want a machine gun so if we move it over here anything after a trigger or timer will not add a uh, cast delay or remove cast delay. So I didn't even have to uh, technically fix this wand or to compensate for um, this uh, spark bolt, but when uh, when I throw other stuff on, uh, I'll explain why. So right now, this will not, or it'll lose uh, only the mana drain from the spark bolt. So that's Definitely something good to keep in mind when you're placing increased mana on because increased mana has immense uh, Like properties to fix wand stats like mana uh, Loss or max mana and everything like that So you can do something like this and you can get the benefits of both so with luminous timer You do have to pair it so you can use a multicast or some other variant and it will pair the spell So it will do the exact same thing uh, it's faster if you throw it at the end. Uh, I believe that's due to animation time. So that that's a way to pair, and then you can also do it with Chainsaw. With Chainsaw, it is extremely neat, and it was brought to my attention by uh, The Forgiven. You can fix any cast delay. So you'll never see this wand in the wild, but it has a cast delay of 1,337. So you would never think that this would fire fast, but with Chainsaw, it removes cast delay completely. So no matter how many things you throw in front of it, it will always machine gun. As long as Chainsaw is being paired properly, it'll always fix cast delay. And then for our last wand, it's familiar because it is the starting wand. And the reason I left it here is because in the next video that we will be making, uh, it will be on spell wrapping. So in order to get the benefit of recharge time twice to fix the recharge time on this wand, we have to wrap it. So how this reads is chainsaw getting the benefit of recharge time into double spell 
and that's casting this and wrapping around and getting that benefit again. So that's giving it a recharge time of negative uh, 0.34. So that's fixing the recharge time and then the cast delay is fixed because of spell pairing. So this is paired even though it's being wrapped around. So it fires something like this. It is a little mana hungry, but it is the starting wand. It only has three slots, and this is definitely really good, especially if you don't have anything else to work with. It's always nice to, uh, to have something to fall back on. With that in mind, we will leave with the fixed version of the wand I did show in the beginning. So, this is it. And the only change I have made on this wand is wrapping it. So that fixes it completely, it becomes a machine gun wand instantaneously, and it is the most amazing thing ever. Well, hopefully you guys learned something, and uh, as always, have a wonderful evening, noon, and night. Goodbye!